was born too early. But then somebody had to be, so. This is Alex. Um, this is Zern. It's my big brother. These are the most amazing kids inflicted with this horrible disease that is just completely out of their control. What happened to you? You wanna wait for a second? You wanna watch him go down? You wanna watch him go down? What happened to me? I might fall off. Yeah. But what do you tell him? Hush your mouth. Two years ago they said he didn't have any time and so she just started going with that and trying to make his quality of life really good. And he keeps going. So now she sees this progress with the drug and she sees he's continuing to go, even though his lung capacity is decreased, he's still going. Her sense of urgency to get on a drug and get him going is huge. She's just a mom who's doing her job and, and trying really hard and doing everything she can for her kid. Are you smart? You know, honestly, I know I'm smart. Okay, are you good looking? <laughs> <laughs> My son was born with a rare disorder in 1990. In 1991, he was diagnosed with Proteus Syndrome, and in 1992, I started the Proteus Syndrome Foundation. When he was first born, he was diagnosed with Klippel Ternane Weber Syndrome, which is an overgrowth syndrome as well. But I knew that that was not the correct syndrome for some reason in my heart. I just didn't feel it was right. So we kept searching, and when he was almost a year old, we went up to the Children's Hospital in Wisconsin where we met with the doctor, Nancy Esterly, and she re-diagnosed him with Proteus Syndrome. Nancy Esterly gave us um, an article on Proteus Syndrome, which well, while reading through the article, I discovered was the same syndrome that the elephant man was diagnosed with. And uh, as you can imagine, that scared a parent to death. The first sample that when they started using the genetic sequencing machine, where they started seeing the mutation in the AKT1 gene, they were using the biopsy from patient number five. Patient number five was my son, Alex. How old are you, Alex? Seven. Who's the best mommy in the world? You! Woohoo! 